And in face of unimaginable tragedy, Israeli women cling to hope for her missing family. The family was last seen during the deadly Hamas attack. Meanwhile, Palestinians in Gaza say Israeli bombardment has been so heavy that they are living their own Nakba, an Arabic word for catastrophe. 21-year-old Gaia Calderon is living in despair. Most of her family went missing on Saturday after Hamas militants attacked near Uz Kibbutz. She is fervently pleading for the world's attention, urging to acknowledge their desperate plea for safety. What can I do? I'm freaking out. And just thinking about my family, it's, it's my whole, my whole family. Like, I'm the only one that's safe. And then, and then, um, no answer from her. And then I see in the group, in the family chat, she's writing, Mom, I love you. So I knew it's probably because she knows it's the end or something. Meanwhile, Palestinians in Gaza are saying they are in hell. Israel fighter jets pounded the Gaza Strip with the fiercest airstrikes. In conflict dragging on since the last 75 years, leaving residents scrambling for their lives. According to Plesha Al-Qad, a Gazan resident and a journalist, Israel has already tightened its blockade of Gaza, fulling fully banning food and fuel imports and cutting electricity supply. We're inside the house right now and literally we can't breathe. This comes after more than 2,000 lives have been lost in the deadliest attack in Israel's history. According to Israeli authorities, the death toll from the weekend Hamas attacks has almost dwarfed all modern Islamist attacks on the West, except for 9-11. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.